It's open to any student on campus to, on his own, find a professor in that college and ask if a change of grade is possible. There's a, another story out there that he had an F and changed it to a B. He had a C minus. He needed to petition the teacher if he could do work that would result in a grade change. And the teacher agreed to that. I know there's hundreds of these grade changes that happen. I had one when I was in school. I know they happen in other schools. You might, a professor, former dean, I think, said that I never gave any grade change. Good for him. Is, that means all the professors that do that are not academically sound, I guess. Is that what he's implying? I don't think that's a good implication. Um, it's, it's, the Committee on Infractions asked me, Coach, why did you do this? Why did you let this happen? Let, let him go get this grade change. I said, that's my responsibility. It's my responsibility to at least inform every guy, well, you have to get a grade change if you want to be eligible. You don't have to. This is what you have to do. This is what you need to do. And I think that's very normal. I think that's what other students do. And he had that opportunity. He found somebody, a teacher that would do that. He knew he was writing a paper about his life. I wasn't really concerned about the content. He's not writing the Spanish Inquisition, which you've got to, obviously, with a 10 page, page, page paper on that. I, mean, I did a story on the American Revolution, a 17 page paper, in one night. I guess I may be able to go back and look at my academics. But it took me one night. I had 32 quotations. But I did it myself. Nobody checked that paper. <coughs> so I think everybody does their academics in a different way. But it was clear to me that he could do this paper. We played on Saturday at Notre Dame and Monday at Cincinnati. And I was talking back and forth during that time. He was writing the paper. I wasn't physically here. But when I got back, I checked immediately is the paper done? It needs to be, is there anything, is, you know, going forward? Um, no, there was no thought in my mind that he couldn't do this paper. And I had, I did, I had absolute, you know, you hire people, you work with people. You have to have trust in those people. Someone said, well, if I'm told by my boss I don't do it, that means there's nobody in jail in the country for, embezzlement or steal, whatever. I clearly said, and we hired somebody, and I don't know if this is clear to everybody, who was in charge of academics at a major university for men's and women's basketball, who absolutely knew, as would you or anyone, you cannot put citations in somebody's paper. But we talked about this doing the paper, he does it, he does his own work, he does it the right way. I really wasn't concerned about him doing his own work because it was right now his life story. I don't think he could have got that from somebody else. So I, I didn't have pause on that. The, I didn't push it. The paper was in early in the week. The teacher accepted it on like a Wednesday. It went over to arts and science like everybody else does. They would not process it. We had a game Saturday. We were playing West Virginia Saturday at home. <coughs> I would have liked to have them play, but they did not process it. I called no one. I didn't call a soul. That's not my job. I do not interfere in the academics. They checked from, to my reporting back to me. They checked with the teacher. They went through the process, which they wouldn't do with any other student. 
they went through that whole process and he was not cleared to play for Saturday's game. It was not until the following week. Again, even if I could have looked at that paper, I could not have told you somebody put citations in this paper. So again, I don't know. I asked the Committee on Infractions, what more did you want me to do? There was no answer. There's no answer in the report of what you know I should do in that situation. 